Okay, so why don't we come down to the uh, bulletin boards and take a look at the status. Also, I think I need an axe. Actually, I actually have a chainsaw. That's good enough. Cool. Where are you? I'm making sticks. Uh, there's a creeper behind Where, you. In the, in the fence line? Uh, I, yes, I can't tell whether he's on the surface or not. Um, but he's not... He's not down here with me, I don't think. Nope. Um, he's in front of the house. He's Wait. very, I mean, he's very bright, as if he's on the same level with us. And he's not on the same level with me down here. He could be yeah. lower. I don't see him outside the windows, but... Careful. Yeah, hold on. I'm going to make a run for it. Okay, it's raining. I'm looking around the house. Is he maybe right. on, on the roof? On the Oh, on your porch. Is he on the porch? How many torches did you put up there? A lot. Mm -hmm. I don't see him. No, me neither. Oh, you covered up... You covered all of this, too. Covered all of what? Uh, I mean, like, there's now a concrete platform not only in front of the house, oh, but all... I found him. I found him. Where is he? He's uh, on the left side of the door. Here, let me lead him away. Oh, jeez, he's running right at me. Ooh. He's gonna blow! Oh, wait. No, I already stopped. Oh, jeez. Why is he... He is, like, super jumping running at me. How is that even possible? He's, he's running like 10 times faster than a normal one. And how is he inside the fence line? That's that's what's we're getting a creepy thing. Okay, he's dead. Did you shoot him? Yep. Thank goodness. How is he moving that fast? Uh, I don't know, but I'm betting he spawned in the dark area you created over here with this... Uh, the porch. I'm just, gonna, I'm just gonna add a few more torches over here. Not that dark. Dark enough. It doesn't need to be that dark, really. All right. Well, anyway. Oh, you can hear mission control. Yeah, do we? Oh tell yeah. What, 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 about yeah. Or... Why don't we at least go, go by there for a second? Um... Ugh, gonna torture them. Let's apologize in advance. Yeah. So this is mission control staff training. Uh, I've installed a locked door so the guys can't get away. Uh, you want to come over? <laughs> oh, yeah. Hold on. So uh, I didn't like our previous trainees. I mean, I think they were trying hard, but I don't think they really looked the part. Uh, mm. So I've recruited some new ones. Oh, uh, I'm hearing zombies. We yeah, we'll, we'll take care of them afterwards. What have we got on the spacecraft that's good? Failure is not an what have we got on the spacecraft that's good? Yeah, he's right outside the window right here. Two of them. All right, so these guys look more like they can run mission control, I think. Yeah, they look like eggheads. Yeah. What have we got on the spacecraft? So let's take care of the zombies. Mm. Hey, uh oh, let him, he got out. Oh, you let out an egghead? Yeah, and he, he like, he bolted immediately. Wow. Well, wow. Alright, well, I'm afraid he may not graduate, so we'll see. So, yeah, don't worry about the old staff. I, I made a place for them. Okay, so no sheep cannot come in. Okay, so let's take a look at the checklist. Uh, no, first first level. No, it's auto jumping. There we go. Okay. All right, so this is the checklist. Uh, last time we did the launch pads, so take mm -hmm. that off. Uh, and this time I think we'll we'll start out with the fuel loader and then see if we get as far as the NASA workbench. Now the fuel loader, what it does is that you can bring power and piped fuel to it and it will load it into, into a rocket that's connected to a launch pad. 
and since we're going to launch two rockets and we need to have two launch stations on the moon for the return trip, basically what we need to do is build four fuel loaders. So I'm going to take a look here and see what we need to build them and we should have most of it. Okay, so the fuel loader is not that bad. It's a tin can, uh, one, two, three, four, five compressed steel and two compressed aluminum and a basic wafer. And the basic wafer is the expensive part because that's basically a diamond. Uh, it's a diamond that's processed in the circuit fabricator. Uh, so I'm going to look. I think we may have... Uh, we certainly have the steel and the aluminum. The riddle of uh, aluminum. I'll have to make the tin cans because I don't have those. Um, and I think... I think I may need to make the wafers. I thought I might have had one. Let's see if I've got one sitting around somewhere. Uh, I've got some filled tin cans. Oh, okay, no, I, I think I do have some empty tin cans. Yeah. I made some of those. Uh, I think I may have one, one standard wafer. Yeah, I do, one basic wafer. But I'm gonna need to make some more. Okay, got plenty of raw silicon. And three of our nine diamonds. We are going to have to go diamond hunting again soon, though. Mm. Okay, so the circuit fabricator, in order to make, uh, use the circuit fabricator to make a basic wafer, we need two silicon, redstone, a redstone torch, and a diamond. So, redstone is no problem. We've got plenty of that. And redstone torches as well. So I will put, uh, I will start making the wafers in the circuit fabricator. Okay, so two silicon. Actually, I need three silicon each in these. Uh, torch. Three torches. Uh, three redstone. One, two, three. And three diamonds. And now it's running. And this is one of the only machines that's actually really quiet. I think it has no sound. <laughs> it's funny, as soon as you said that, I heard dungeon noises. Well, you should have been on earlier where I, I think the house was hit by lightning. It was such an incredible noise. I, I thought... Oh. You'd broken the planet? <laughs> well, you know what? I, I don't know what happened, but... Something I, just went point like it broke. Yeah, I, I think the diamond is maybe used as a catalyst, because the weird thing is I put enough ingredients of everything into the fabricator to make three basic wafers, mm -hmm. um, but it gave me three and only used one of all the ingredients so weird okay well, i mean that's are we new. sure it's functional that's the, i don't know it says there are three uh i don't care i'm i'm willing to let them break i'm willing <laughs> you know it's you're going first it's your life i'm willing to take that risk <laughs> so okay so there's the wafers and the tin cans and so actually this this should be fairly this should be fairly quick and then we can go over and uh install these now will, where do we I've parachutes already, we we yeah, made, we need, right? we need to make parachutes too. I made, I made I thought one. we made some. I made one. Oh, I thought I thought we each had one. Uh, okay, maybe I did and I gave it to you, but I don't know where it is now because I don't see it. Mm, it's probably upstairs somewhere. Actually, here, hold on. Uh, yeah, no, it's not in my chest. Oh, geez, I had 64 torches in here. So you're making a bunch. So, so now I have four fuel loaders. Nice. Okay, so you want we can we can run over now and inst actually we should put two of them in in here for the moon chest because two mm. of them need to go in the rockets, one in each of our rockets, so that we can refuel our rockets uh, on the moon. And the yeah. other two are going to get installed. Where are you going? Upstairs. I want to see if there's a parachute around here because oh. I could have sworn oh, there was okay. another one. Um, I don't I don't remember making one. I don't know for sure. Uh, I, I remember carrying one around for the longest time, and then I couldn't figure out why the heck am I going to need this. Oh, well, you know, I was kind of thinking that maybe you could use them, like, you know, for ordinary jumping. You know, you could, like, base jump mm. with it or something. But I think it's only it's only for use uh, coming down out of a ship in Galactic Craft. It's not, I don't think it's useful for anything else. 
I just do know we don't want to take off without one. Hmm. Because I think that would be bad. Oh, you know what? I have a feeling. Well, you can make one. No, I know. It's just, no, I, I have a feeling it was in that other village that we visited. Oh, it, well, we, we'll go back there. I have a feeling I want to go back there and collect the horses anyway. Uh, because we've, we've covered a lot of territory with the airships, but we haven't really seen a lot of it. We just kind of flown no. over it. So yeah. to travel on the ground, I would like to have horses or something else. So I figured I might do that. So let's let's go down to the mine carts and go over to the... Um, Go over to the launch site and install the fuel loaders. Loose cart. Oh, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, no. Look out, there's Damn a it. loose cart. <laughs> I know. Well, there's a loose cart following your loose cart. I couldn't get in it for some reason. That's okay. When it comes this way, I'll break it. Oh, it got, <laughs> they got away from me. <laughs> okay, there we go. Thing. All right. So, it was quite a trip. Okay. It, <laughs> it, looks, like the, it looks like the fuel... Oh, wait, it's not being... Not being it actually looks anymore? like it actually looks like the monolith. What looks, it looks like <laughs> looks like it's broken. Some, something seems to happen with the cables every once in a while that it, they, it doesn't recognize them anymore, and I have to replace them. I'm not sure why. Hmm. Do they wear out? Uh, either that, or the refinery just stops because the fuel tanks are full, which also is possible. Hmm. I'm not sure which. Okay, see now it's running again. I don't know why. Now it's now it's running. Now it's pumping fuel. Maybe they get clogged. Okay, so also off of this energy cube, which is collecting energy from above from the windmills, I've also put a line down uh, that goes down to the launch level. The mm. fuel line comes this way over to the fuel tanks. Fuel tank is almost full now. I've expanded it to three times its original size. And it's wow. now almost full. And this switch will fire this pump and pump fuel down to the launch level. So if we go down to the launch level in the elevator. Yep. You can see over here, I've installed this area, uh, which is fuel supply maintenance access door. And if you go in here, these are the tunnels where uh, the pipes are running and the wires are running for the fuel system. So this yeah. is fuel and power coming down and going. I should put some light in here. We don't want any monsters in here. Yeah. And that comes up here to the two launch areas where we can see that there is now power and fuel being pumped for the loaders. So I'm going to try to install one of the loaders here. Doesn't want to let it doesn't want to let me it doesn't want to let you stand on the top of the rocket launcher. Okay. <laughs> okay, so now the fuel loader has connected itself to the launch pad. Uh, the power line, I think, has connected itself. It is not getting power, and it says it has no fuel, which means I probably need to reorient it. Because I think mm. the pipes and the wires are probably not connected to the right bits. I have to turn it. Hmm. No fuel to load. Load fuel. Battery slot. See, it looks like the pipe... Well, this yellow one looks like it should be for the fuel. Doesn't it? Oops. Yeah, I think so. See, yeah, yeah, because I think... See, the, the no, that one's for the battery. You need to orient the yellow one towards this one to this pipe. 
But yeah, you go. That's that's the one. That I think is the, where the fuel receptacle goes, and I think the other one has to be hooked up to the power. Oh, oh, oh wait. So where so where is it now? Where's the power one on the bottom? The power one, like, I, I believe think, I think it's on you bottom. have. No, 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 no. It's not on the bottom. It's actually towards the pad. You get the power oh, part to the pad. That can't work. No, it can't. So the orientation has to be changed slightly. Darn. See, I, I, yeah, I think the position of that has uh, to be okay. such. So unfortunately, I hooked up these wires and pipes, but I can't place this where I, where I wanted it. Stupid, well, stupid. I tell you me. what. I tell you what. For proof of concept, I'll cannibalize the other pipe installation. Uh, I'll take a couple of pieces of pipe off this, and then if it works. Uh, I will. I will go up and get the pipes and finish. Yeah, because you can't. Sh yeah, you can't really shorten this, can you? Yeah, not really. Okay, connected. Uh, it's still saying it's not getting power though. Hmm. Maybe universal cable is not that universal. The power. I mean, the cable's lit up like it has power. Yeah. Okay, no, it's recognizing the fuel, uh, but, okay. it's, it, but it's saying it doesn't have enough power. Uh, so enough or any? No, it says enough. So either oh, status it is five kilowatts, one hundred and twenty. All right, so how much does it need? Yeah, I don't know. Um, um, you know what? Maybe uh, ta -ta -ta. this is an elite energy cube. Maybe I need to turn off the refinery. Maybe we can't run the refinery and the loader at the same time maybe because i'm because i'm running those both out the same output uh but the energy cube is full so if, it, if if it's having a problem now it's a problem that the there simply isn't enough output to run those two things at once okay um i guess the real question is then if if this is not enough energy either because the cable run is too long uh then um maybe we've got to Maybe we've got to upgrade. Um, oh. Oh. I think I know what it is. What? Okay. We need to build... Uh, we need to build a basic energy cube as a step down. Because the the advanced and the elite ones, like the ones we've is got too here, much? is 240. Yeah. Oh. You see, we're using European voltage. So, um, damn systems. Uh, I've already made. I've already made one. It's over at the house. Uh, so I'm gonna go over there and get it. Maybe I'll just build one. In fact, I I need to build two. I guess. Okay, so let's build two advent two basic energy cubes. Okay, so basic energy cube is a steel casing, redstone, lapis, and two energy tablets. Energy tablets are gold, redstone, and enriched alloy. So I need gold. Okay, steel casing is steel and osmium, so I need those two as well. Steel and osmium. Oh, there's spiders and skeletons. Yeah, this whole section's down over here. We haven't uh, cleared out yet. Oh well, there's lots of stuff we haven't cleared out. I mean, no, no, I mean, no I thought question. this close to the house, we had already done it. Apparently, we haven't. <laughs> there's a chest with a minecart down here, and okay, two steel casings. Now we need the tablets. That's gold up the middle, redstone in the corners, and enriched alloy on either side. And I need four of them. Oh, are these diamonds? What are these? Uh, I don't know. What do they look like? Oh, they look white. That's tin then. Okay, so I got the steel casings, and I got the energy tablets, and the rest of it is redstone and lapis. I got lapis, I got some redstone. Okay, so machine casing, energy tablet, energy tablet, lapis, and redstone. Is this correct? Yes, it is. 
basic energy cube. Number one. And number two. Okay. So yeah, I guess then what I need to install is I need to install this energy cube uh, probably probably right here in the floor mm. between the elite energy cube which is on the fuel level and the output to the hmm, now this is not getting any input Maybe this cable is not complete. Maybe I didn't connect it. It's weird. I don't understand. I'm going to take this cube upstairs and see if I can get it to power itself there and then maybe move it. Okay. See, if I put it here, weird. if I put it right here, it fills right up. Like, immediately. And now it's full. So let me take it down to the bottom of the shaft. Uh, hmm. I wonder, do I need a chunk loader? Maybe this is so far away. Maybe it's so far away that the chunk with the energy cube and it is getting unloaded and so the cable doesn't have any voltage in it by the time I walk that far away. Maybe. In that case, we'll need to build a chunk loader. Uh, or the easiest thing would be for you to you come here and stand next to it. <laughs> here, hold on one sec. Uh, just, just go back to the fuel refinery room. I, I filled one of the cubes anyway, so I mean at the very least, I'm going to bring down and there will be power. I'm using it like a big battery. Uh, because these things hold their charge when you move them. Okay. No, oh, I'm missing... Damn, I'm missing cable. <laughs> Crap. I'm sorry, what, you need cable? Yeah, I need another piece of universal cable. That's okay, I'm, again, I'm going to cannibalize the other installation until we get one working, and then I'll go back and get, uh, get all the materials. Okay, in front of the oil tank, where do you want me? Uh, just stand next to the energy cube there. Because I'm wondering if the problem The blue here, one? Yeah, the problem is that this isn't... Oh. Now what did All that... Right. Alright, I'm next to the blue energy cube. What did that do? I hooked that up and it actually made the wire go dead. Hmm. <clears throat> Alright, well now it says it has power. Load fuel, status active. I guess the real problem here now, though, is that if this cable run is too far away, then this energy cable's this energy cube is not gonna it's not function gonna anyway. It's not, well, it's not gonna replenish itself mm. like it should. And it looks like it's not. I just recharged a couple things, and energy came out, but nothing is nothing is going in. By the look of it. Got some tin, got some so, aluminium. Let me, I'm gonna take the empty one and put it just at the bottom where this cable connects and see if that's it. the empty one. And I put that there. Alright, now, okay, this one down here at the very bottom here, this is getting power from above. And now, if I bring the output around... Yeah, this is showing 30 megajoules. How many, how many do we need? Uh, 
and it's slowly building up. We're at thirty point thirty eight and rising. Yeah, it just got drained because I filled this one down here. Mm -hmm. but now also, I, I charged up my drill too. So I mean, it I says thirty two max, so it's not even close to being empty. And output says twelve point eight kilojoules per something. This one is still not filling though. Mm. Is there a max cable length or something, or...? Possibly. 31.33 and rising. Yeah, this is almost fully charged up again. And the refinery is status ready, so that's full of energy, so that's not, you know, draining it or anything. Okay, I just moved it. I think I think it's just uh, loss over cable runs. So what we just need is these to use these things kind of like repeaters, mm -hmm. and that they have to be, uh, and they're not that expensive to make. They just need to be some every uh, certain amount of the run in order to uh, to keep the voltage up. Because basically, when I put it all the way at the bottom, right next to the fuel loader, it wasn't getting any power. So now mm -hmm. I've got one at the at the bottom of that cable that goes down and then I've got one at half the distance to the fuel loaders and now they're full and filling mm -hmm. and I think now if I run back and get enough cable to connect that second one uh, I think the fuel loaders should get power so I'm gonna and it's and it's full and it's not even it looks like it's not even outputting I don't I don't get it. Why isn't it outputting? I mean, it's, this this cable run is actually not that long. Did it did it break? Did I did I break the cable run somewhere? Oh crap! What? Yeah, it's broken. The wire doesn't go anywhere. <laughs> it's almost like it got filled up. I don't know what the heck is going on over here. The wire goes nowhere into it into an empty hole. Well, that explains it. Is it plugged in? So I have you tried turning I, it off and on again? Either I didn't finish running it, or I don't know what. I was distracted by something shiny. Well, that could be it too. Hearing that skeleton again. Yep. It's weird. It's like you can hear him inside the launch pad someplace. Well, that's what I'm saying. He may be underneath. Um, underneath the pad? Yeah, because there's a level underneath hmm. the pad. I thought we put down torches and things to make sure things wouldn't spawn. That's like that story you heard about uh, during the creation of the Titanic that people got accidentally walled up inside. Uh, the riveted sections. Oh, nice. Oh, yeah. They say at night you can hear people banging on the other sides, trying to get out, and of course they never opened it up. <laughs> nice. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, I checked the integrity of that wire now. It actually looks like it's glowing now, so I think that means it's powered. Uh, yes! We have power! Yay! And so we, it was. And, it wasn't plugged fuel. in. Yeah, we. Yeah, in fact, actually, I guess this this wire was just incomplete. If we had started on this other one, it probably would have been fine because I think I did wire mm. that one up completely. But 
Okay, so it's not the run, so we don't need another power system. Uh, yeah, I don't more? know. Maybe those are totally redundant, <laughs> totally redundant, and I can take them out. Uh, I th we will need at least one as the step down. Um. Okay, it's an active five kilowatts yeah. at one hundred and twenty volts. Yeah. You know, it's almost as if there's a section in between the two silos. Because when you go on the radar, like, okay, I am well, like right is. over yeah. him. So he's like right above me. So is there a section in between the silos right here? That's yes. That was sealed up? Yes. Oh, well, that means they're probably spawning in there then. <laughs> well, no, that place was solid rock. I mean, it wasn't sealed up. It just wasn't ever dug out. Um... See, because that's that's raw stone. That's never been touched. It wasn't dug. It wasn't uh, you know nothing happened to it. It's just there. Weird. Okay, so this one has no fuel yet, uh, but it does have power. Oop! Dungeon noisy. Yep. Um, I guess now, what am I going to need to do? I guess about, I, I think, I think we're going to need a chunk loader for the fuel though, mm -hmm. because, because it, it does, it does seem like when we're not there that the fuel is not coming down from the pump there. So we might need, might need a chunk loader to keep that running. Oh, did you break this elevator? Yeah, why? Because it doesn't work now? I didn't break anything. If I did, I would have elevator chunks, wouldn't I? No, but I mean, no, this, at, at this level, it's intact, but it doesn't go up anymore. Which, which elevator? Elevator... Elevator, elevator two. Alright, number one. Ooh. Hmm. Oh, somebody put a torch above it. Oh, <laughs> you can't that do goofs that. it. Yes, ladders, oh. ladders, torches, anything like that. Oh, okay. All right, I'll put it to the side then. Okay, so yeah, fuel pump, fuel pump, fuel pump, fuel pump. Oh, it's off. That's why. Okay. So now fuel is starting to exit the tank and go towards the fuel loaders. And if I go into the fuel ac access maintenance way, I should be able to start seeing fuel coming down the pipe. Yeah, and there it is. Just want to get this to reach the fuel loader and we'll wrap up there. Splitting. And I think after we wrap up, I'm going to hunt down, I'm going to stop talking and hunt down that skeleton. <laughs> okay, uh, so fuel loader fill tank is filling. Awesome. And the other one... Fuel hasn't reached it yet, but it should be reaching it soon. Yep, here it is. And yes! Okay, so uh, fuel loaders are ready to deploy. We know how they work now, and we have two extra ones we're going to take with us to the moon. So ne next time, hopefully, we'll build a NASA workbench and start making rockets. All right. That's where it's going to get really fun. I'm falling through- I was falling through the world for a second there. See? Disconcerting, isn't it? Yeah, it is what it is. You can see the caves, though. It's kind of neat. Too bad I didn't have enough time to 
seen anything interesting. 